The pod is brought to you by the Cash App. It's brought to you by the Cash App. Love it. We had a Cash App exchange. What? On on uh, on Sunday? How'd it go? Uh, it went so well. So so Emily and I went to brunch at a place called Swingers. I heard about this. And there at the bar. Well, who was it? Who was there? Is this uh, this man it's dressed? A, what? How's he dressed? I mean, I was like, who is this poor person who has dressed him? What did it look like? Where did he get these clothes? The shorts were patterned. The shirt was patterned differently. There was a sort of an oversized um, fleece I want on. you all to know what is what Socks we're spending time in here. Here's what we're talking about. Here's what we're talking about. We're talking about a guy wearing gym shorts and a shirt with flowers on it. For this. The gym shorts also had flowers on them. The gym shorts. a different pattern of flowers. Oh. You know what? I'm gay on Sundays, so too. We invited him to brunch. <laughs> Yeah, so I he just ate with us. I, I just got up and moved, and the, I paid uh, for the brunch. He cash happed me, and the uh, the uh, I said to the the waitress, she said, I said I'm moving over there uh, because my friends are here, uh, and uh, it's nice to have friends. It's nice to have friends. <laughs> it's the moral of that story. Download the cash app. Put in the code Pod Save. That's five dollars goes to you. Five dollars goes to uh, the organizations that are helping people who are devastated by fires in California, and uh, it's just it's a great app. You can also use the code Spencer. Pods of America is brought to you by Sleep Number. We all have sleep number beds. We do. My sleep number setting is, I forget, because I said it so long ago. I'm at 100. Pundit's at 100. I'm at 100, too. I think mine's yeah. at like 70 or something. I love my sleep number bed. I went home for a while, and I slept in uh, a much smaller, much older, less soft bed. And boy, was it a oh, treat Oh, like home to, to Massachusetts. Home. Yeah, home in my mom's house. <laughs> yeah, that, no, I was. we were away for the holidays, and when I came back, I was so happy to be in my sleep number joy. bed. With my parachute bedding and my sleep number bed. Don't don't cross the streams. That's a little freebie for you, parachute. <laughs> anyway, back to sleep number. So many couples disagree on mattress firmness. Sleep number 360 smart beds let you choose your ideal firmness on each side so it's just right for both of you. The sleep number 360 smart beds are so smart they sense your every move and automatically adjust to you, keeping you sleeping comfortably throughout the night. So I'm sure maybe your partner is uh, hypothetically working f- 19 hours a day on a book and so... Will he know that the sleep number is perfectly set for him? Pundit got a book deal? (laughs) (laughs) Sleep number has been ranked highest in customer satisfaction with mattresses by J.D. Power. J.D. Power and Associates. Okay. Maybe they're not the Why'd they leave out the Associates? I don't know. I don't know. Come in during the January savings event and save up to $500 on select sleep number 360 smart beds. That's a lot. Sleep number is the official sleep and wellness partner of the NFL. You'll only find Sleep Number at one of their 575 Sleep Number stores nationwide. Visit sleepnumber.com slash crooked. Pod Save America is brought to you by Honey. You've probably heard me talk about Honey, the free browser extension that automatically helps save money on all my favorite sites. But did you know that Honey even makes Amazon better? I did because you just said that and then Lovett said something bad that we had to cut. That's true. (laughs) With millions of sellers on Amazon offering the same products, how do you know if you're really getting the best price? Well, that's where Honey comes in. Getting the best price can be a real bear. Honey automatically goes to work whenever I shop on Amazon. It compares the prices of every seller that carries the items I want. Honey even factors in shipping, sales tax, and Amazon Prime status to make sure I'm getting the lowest total price. Does it make sure the people that work at Amazon factories have a job of dignity and so forth? I don't know. Love it. It shows me the best deal every time, even if Amazon doesn't. It's like having my very own personal shopping assistant. I love honey. I bought a lot of Christmas presents. I was going to note that your wife is Lovett's personal shopping assistant, but <laughs> she is. Continue. She is. She is. Um, yeah. I bought a lot of stuff with honey uh, over, over the You got break. that belt? I think. <laughs> Everybody remembers that belt. <laughs> that J. Crew belt. Everyone, I think people Emily. People talking about the belt. I think Emily and I have a quid pro quo on shopping. The quid is she helps me shop. The quo is she gets the experience of buying colors outside of blue, gray, and green. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> and you buy her stuff sometimes. That's true. That's true. There are, there are random gifts for the help. Uh, it is a quid pro quo. More than 10 million people are using Honey to save money. Honey's got over 100,000 five-star reviews on the Google Chrome store. Time Magazine says it's basically free money, and so do we. So next time you're in the world's biggest marketplace looking for the best deals, treat yourself to the free upgrade that makes Amazon better. Add Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash PSA. Catch more buys with Honey. That's joinhoney.com slash PSA. Honey is the smart shopping assistant that helps you save time and money. Slot on the savings. Pot Save America is brought to you by The New Yorker, Ooh. which represents the best writing in America today. Beyond publishing the best writers in the world, The New Yorker holds people in power accountable er, through rigorous reporting and compelling storytelling. Yep. That's sometimes. Big. Sometimes some of that reporting is done at my dining room table <laughs> by someone who works the craziest hours a human being can work. 
Gia Tolentino? Yeah, it's Gia Tolentino. Okay. I'm talking about Gia Tolentino. Cool. No, I'm That's... talking about Jeffrey Tubin. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about Adam Davidson. Oh, cool. Mm-hmm. Both online and I'm in print. I'm talking about Doreen St. Felix. <laughs> <laughs> the New Yorker covers a full range of topic. Typo. Including politics, news. That shouldn't get, that's not the New Yorker's fault. New Yorker doesn't let that shit go through. Uh, yeah, they shouldn't. Including politics, news, international affairs, climate change and the environment, popular culture and the arts, fiction, food, humor, and cartoons. The New Yorker writes beautifully on subjects that readers may not have previously put much thought into, but end up finding themselves fascinated and delighted by. Sometimes reading tens of thousands of words on topics like the world's diminishing supply of sand and hunting down heirloom beans. Other topics you never know you'd find fascinating. Paper jams, fault lines, heirloom beans, stink bugs. That's twice with heirloom fucking beans. New Yorker. Stink bugs. The New Yorker has great writers like Ronan Farrow. You are the New Yorker now. Who has written breaking news on Harvey Weinstein and Les Moonves. His writing won the New Yorker the Pulitzer Prize in 2018. I know why you're surprised by that. He set. wears it to dinner. <laughs> Is it a statue? What is it? Is it's, it a, a pin? it's a uh, It's a statue and a medal. <laughs> is it a lanyard? He, it's a statue and a medal, and it's like, you'd think he'd wear the medal, but he wears the fucking statue. Where's the statue? <laughs> Get 12 weeks for just $6 plus the New Yorker tote bag. Don't sleep on that. Home delivery of the print edition each week and unlimited access to NewYorker.com with 10 to 15 exclusive site-only stories every day. Do you think it's too much that it's in his email signature? <laughs> The harder thing's going to be when he doesn't yell at you for this because he didn't listen. Get 12 weeks of The New Yorker for just Honestly, $6. Honestly, if plus he listened more, I'd joke. be incented not to do this. <laughs> Go to newyorker.com slash crooked. Listeners, save 50% off when you enter the code crooked. John and also Ivan. listeners, let Ronan know. <laughs> Don't let Ronan know anything. All right? Honestly, the idea that people need to tell Ronan something is he's not going to find out if he wants to know. Pod Save America is brought to you by the Cash App. It's brought to you by the Cash App. It's always a nice moment when we record the ads because when we get to the cash app... It means it's the end. It means it's the end. And we've had a lot of fun today, all right? Some of it you're going to hear. Some of it might have been too crazy for you to hear. That's the but the important darn point is, truth. It's 11.40 a.m. and we're getting a little hungry. So it's nice that this cash app ad is the last app. John, can I tell you something? Yes. Can I tell you that I'm not very hungry? Because... Uh, well, did you go to Taco Bell for breakfast? I did something. I did something I regret which is that I did order, because we'd had that fun conversation about fast food last night, I did order myself the the very Domino's pan pizza that I had referred to in the conversation. I ate five slices last night, and I ate one slice just before I came into the oh office. Oh, my God. <laughs> I am fully fucking off the rails. I am off Mouths the rails. Mouths are agape I am, in the studio. I am <laughs> off the rails. Off the rails, diet-wise. It is out of control. I need a group of people from my family to read letters about how I am hurting them. I'm so upset that this ad is being recorded for January 24th. <laughs> but... But right now it's January seventeenth, and I thank want, God it's January seventeenth. And I, I want to hear the reaction from the world now. It's, but I have um, to wait. It's uh, I have I I just I gotta get it in control before we head out on the road because once we head out on the road, it's worse than I mean. Here's how I'm gonna bring it back. Uh, this is an ad about the cash app. <laughs> so if you have the cash app, please send John no, some money no. for healthier food. He lives in a food desert. Don't send me money. It is funny to request money from me because then I don't have to. I can just read it and enjoy it. Feel free to request money from me, which I will just ignore. If you send me a dollar, I have to go through and undo it. And honestly, you may not get your fucking dollar back. Maybe the people who um, who purchased this ad at Cash App want to request money from you because they were hoping we would talk about the app. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. That's the beauty of it. That's the beauty of it. Use the Cash App. <laughs> All right. Whether you're buying Domino's pizza or whether you're going to try to go paleo or filet or or a filet mignon, which, by the way, is the most overrated piece of meat in the fucking business. It is. Who wants a filet mignon? Get yourself a ribeye. All right. Or a New York strip. New York strip. Anything with some 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 fat running right through the middle of it. Anyway, use the cash the app. The cash app it's is the what this and ad is about. Way to pay people back and to get paid back. If you put in the code now, $5 goes to you. $5 goes to World Central Kitchen, Jose Andres' group. They feed people and help with disasters all over the country. Right now they're feeding people in D.C., federal workers who, you know, I don't know, maybe the government's still shut down when you're listening to this. Probably hopefully will be. It's, hopefully it's open by now, but who knows. Download the cash app. Put in the code PodSafe. Put in the code Spencer. Oh, by the way, just to bring it all the way back. I did, uh, uh, Spencer did cash at me for dinner the night before the Domino's night. 
Because we ate at the fucking Cheesecake Factory. I am on a bender. Wow. Okay, catch up. Where are we going to lunch? I was thinking barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> Love It or Leave It is brought to you by Parachute. Parachute writes, it got back to us at Parachute HQ that Favreau pilfered the last box full of loot we sent you. Whoa. Oh. What? Oh. Well, we're delighted that our products are so highly coveted. We want to help make this right. Uh-oh. I want, I want... I'm going to tell you guys the full story here. There was a large box uh, next to Jonathan's desk, mm -hmm. and he just was letting it sit there. And finally, one day, my wife said, where's all the stuff from Parachute that we wanted to get, that we ordered? Mm -hmm. Turns out, someone in the office found out, it was in that box sitting next to John Lovett's desk all the time, and he didn't even know. So we took the box home. We took out all of our wonderful parachute bedding and Did towels. you notice anything? Did you notice anything that was left in the box at the bottom of that box? In fact, so, there was some of Lovett's stuff at the bottom of the and box. And what happened to it? Did you bring it back to the office? Did you maybe Did stop I what? by our house? Did I what? Okay, is that the rule? When you take something from someone else to your home, yeah. it's up to you to Did go you, to their house to get it? The moral it? of the story is in. if John's wife yells at him, he'll steal from his friends? Yeah, yeah. that's right. Bring that's it right. in. That's you know right. what? Emily and I even talked about it. I said, hey, Emily, can you ask John to bring the parachute stuff to the office? Because... I know it's not a big deal, but somehow the look on John's face, if I ask him to bring it in, it'll look like... You get in trouble. <laughs> you I'm know. just wondering how long were you going to leave that box there? Mm. I, how could I big possibly... Big box next to your desk. You well, think we'll never know. Open, we'll never know. Or because, weren't you curious? Because, because everyone knows the rule of property is if someone doesn't open a box by their desk, anyone can take it. <laughs> it was a box. It's a box as tall as it you. It says, name it's anything of John's box. that you desire, uh, and we'll do our best. Got, parachute. Parachute. Parachute says, name anything of John's that you desire, and we'll do our best to take it from him and give it to you. <laughs> okay. okay. Um, a lot of jokes. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Ease with people? <laughs> can they get that? <laughs> Is that something I can have? I don't care if I get it from him. I just want it. <laughs> and he has it. <laughs> Beard well, Keep all of this. <laughs> Visit parachutehome.com slash L-O-V-E-T-T -T for free shipping and returns on Parachute's premium quality, ultra soft bedding and bath linens. Reminder... This is an ad for sheets. <laughs> <laughs> they offer a 90-day trial, so if you don't love it, just send it back. Or just ask Emily to ask John to bring it back to the office. Like, that's a big deal. Parachutehome.com slash L-O-V-E-T-T -T for free shipping and returns on Parachute's premium you could invite quality. Me. You could invite me over Ultra to your house. Ultra soft bedding and bath. Mm, I will invite everybody over to the house. Tommy, have you seen the house yet? When I have finished painting the walls different shades of pink, yellow, and green. Oh, cool. I haven't been there. Emily's and the been a few times. She just stops by on her way to work. <laughs> Emily pops in. Come back there. She's at the doorstep. And I love it. Are we still on the ad? I can't Who's tell gonna hear this? Believe It is brought to you by The New Yorker. The New Yorker represents the best writing in America today. Beyond publishing the best writers in the world, The New Yorker holds people in power accountable through rigorous reporting and compelling storytelling. Both online and in print, The New Yorker covers a full range of topics, including politics, news, international affairs, climate change, the environment, popular culture, the arts, fiction, food, humor, and cartoons. The New Yorker writes beautifully on subjects that readers may not have previously put much thought into, but end up finding themselves fascinated and delighted by, sometimes reading tens of thousands of words on topics like the world's diminishing supply of sand and hunting down heirloom beans. We're obsessed with those heirloom beans. Mm -hmm. Gotta get those beans. The New Yorker has fantastic writers and contributors like Ronan Farrow, what? who has written breaking news on Harvey Weinstein and Les Moonves. His writing won the New Yorker the Pulitzer Prize in 2018. So if you're just learning about the Pulitzer uh, that Ronan won from this ad, it must mean you don't go to dinner with him ever because it comes up. <laughs> just kidding. I like he's going to hear this. Right. Yeah. I, I, Ronan, you'll get a Pulitzer if you listen to this episode. Ah, uh, too bad. <laughs> the New Yorker has fantastic His writers. just perked up somewhere. <laughs> The, uh, Call it a sources. <laughs> Get 12 weeks for just $6 plus the New Yorker tote bag, home delivery of the print edition each week, unlimited access to NewYorker.com with 10 to 15 exclusive site-only stories every day and access to their apps, online archive, crossword puzzle, and more. The sad part is he's uh, more of a PSTW guy. <laughs> yeah, he definitely is. He's been on PSTW. He's been a guest. <laughs> yeah, he's the, great. The only episodes of Load or Leave It Ron's ever listened to, he was on. Get 12 weeks of the New Yorker for just $6 plus the exclusive tote. Go to newyorker.com slash L-O-V-E-T-T. Listeners save 50% off when they enter Love It, and just tell them Ronan didn't send you. <laughs> America's brought to you by the Cash App. I have a, I have a Cash App-related announcement. Let's hear it, Tommy. So I reached out to the good people at the Cash App uh, who have been listening to the ads recently, and I asked them to make a, just an adjustment to our code. So now you can download the Cash App, put in the code Spencer is not real. <laughs> 
Five dollars goes to you. <laughs> Five dollars goes to Jose Andres Spencer in the World Central Kitchen real. and their effort to feed uh, people who have been hurt in disasters or harmed by the government shutdown. There's or whatever, no so. <laughs> evidence that Spencer is real. He does. I, Spencer, I'm constantly there is talking nothing about. we won't do to get noticed by you. <laughs> To cry for help, Spencer. Spencer is not real. This is weird. Now, this is now the this is the Spencer is not real. This is now the the Cash App podcast equivalent of me basically standing outside of Spencer's apartment with a boombox. <laughs> it is. It's going to get to the point that we're going to be on on tour somewhere, and if Spencer walked out on stage, he would get the same kind of response as Barack Obama. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> from our <laughs> house will come down. And here's the the, the thing: there are so many Spencer and I have so many mutual friends who listen to this podcast. And they hear this, but Spencer doesn't. Hmm. Spencer and Ronan. it. <laughs> yeah, you know what though? I understand people that spend a lot of time with me needing a break from my voice in their cars. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hannah said that directly to you. When we were on vacation together, she was like, I just I can't have you in my ears for forty five more minutes. It's I can't do it. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. Emily Fair. just says I can't have love it in my ears for forty five well, he did try to cut her bricks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if, I will I will read the jokes I made to Emily about her movie taste if you're not careful. Uh-oh. Future ad. Pod Save the World is brought to you by The New Yorker. The New Yorker represents the best writing in America today. Beyond publishing the best writers in the world, The New Yorker holds people in power accountable through rigorous reporting and compelling storytelling. Both online and in print, The New Yorker covers a full range of topics like politics, news, international affairs, climate change, the environment, pop culture, the arts, fiction, food, humor, Cartoons. Heirloom beans. Heirloom beans. Heirloom beans. They write beautifully about subjects that you might not have previously put much thought into, but end up finding yourself fascinated and delighted by, sometimes reading thousands of words on topics like the world's diminishing supply of sand and hunting down John's precious heirloom beans. Where are they? Show me the beans. (laughs) Jack Beanstalk over there. Other topics you might find fascinating, paper jams, fault lines, heirloom beans, again, and stink bugs. (laughs) Also, Ronan is there. If you're a CEO... Stop listening. Put down your phone. Flee the country because he will find you. I've recently said on a few podcasts that uh, joking around that Ronan's often bringing up his Pulitzer Prize and constantly talking about his Pulitzer Prize. And I just want to say that that's obviously a joke. No, he wears it on a chain like Flavor Flav. No, no, no. He Instagrams he, it. He never talks about it. He's so humble. What's the is Pulitzer this, sleep this, number? Is this a catch? <laughs> You're trying to, is he going to listen to this episode? No chance. Get 12 <laughs> weeks for just 6 bucks plus the New Yorker tote bag. Home delivery of the print edition each week and unlimited access to New Yorker with 10 to 15 exclusive site-only stories every day. I think get, that did more harm than good. <laughs> get 12 weeks of the New Yorker for just 6 bucks plus the exclusive tote. Go to newyorker.com slash crookedworld. Pod Save America is brought to you by Policy Genius. Wow, what a wild few days, Tom. Sure has been. Things change so quickly that even doing two podcast episodes a week doesn't cut it anymore. That's been true for a long time. In fact, life is so unpredictable, it's almost like there should be some sort of insurance for it. Boy, do we have the product for you. We do. Policy Genius is the easy way to compare and buy life insurance online. You can compare quotes and find the right coverage in just two minutes. Hopefully that's fast enough to outpace the current news cycle, but who knows? Probably not. Hmm. Once you find your policy, just kick back, compulsively refresh Twitter, and let the team at Policy Genius handle all the red tape. Feel seen. I feel seen. You know, both of us had uh, recent conversations with our uh, respective wives where they recommended we get life insurance. So yeah. uh, if they're scheming something, I think they might be. I just, we just laid down a marker for I, the cops. I feel like they just looked it up and uh, <laughs> they're colluding. They're colluding. Yeah, Hannah's been Googling non extradition countries. <laughs> I don't know if that's related. Emily's like, how big of a policy can I get? And if you really want to save time, Policy Genius makes it easy for couples to apply together. There you go. So if you've been waiting for things to calm down so you can get life insurance, here's some more breaking news. That's not going to happen. You might as well get the ball rolling at policygenius.com. Policy Genius, compare life insurance online because what the hell is even happening right now? Love it or leave it is brought to you by ButcherBox. It's a box of butchers. (laughs) (laughs) This month, Butcher Box is offering finely ground beef that's clean and delicious and is taken from the most flavorful sections of the animal. <laughs> okay. Wow. <laughs> Very intimate. The beef consists of trimmings from the sirloin and... Ch- is this a serious ad? That is so much information. It's what makes it so versatile. It cooks fast, so it's perfect for the quick weeknight dinners. You can wear it with anything. <laughs> right now, new members will get two pounds of this delicious ground beef for free in every box for the life of your subscription. So you get this, a box full of two pounds of beef. Yeah. I'm into it. 
ButcherBox's most popular offer last year, and they're bringing it back for a limited time only. ButcherBox delivers healthy, 100% grass-fed and grass-finished beef. They kill it with grass. What does that mean? Free-range organic chicken and heritage breed pork. The incredible quality of ButcherBox meat starts with a commitment to raising animals humanely and free of antibiotics and hormones. Unlike me, honestly. Each box comes with at least 8 to 11 pounds of meat. Oh, that's more than 2 pounds. Wow, which is enough for 24 individual-sized meals. You can choose from 5 different box types. All beef, beef and chicken, beef and pork, a mixed box, or a custom box. (laughs) You open that box up, you open that box up, you reach in there. There can be any kind of animal. Butch, Ostrich, kangaroo, dragon, tauntaun. Meat is frozen at the peak of freshness and in individual vacuum-packed, biodegradable packaging. All meat is delivered right to your doorstep. ButcherBox meats come from humanely raised, open pasture animals that are never fed antibiotics, hormones, or fatty fillers. For $20 off your first box and two pounds of free ground beef in every box for the life of your subscription, go to butcherbox.com slash L-O-V-E-T-T or enter promo code love it. Get free beef in your box. Come on. <laughs> Get that free Come beef. On. Come on, people. There's Come free beef. <laughs> well, there's, there's a box in front of your first, door. Our first there's free beef in it. <laughs> our first and last ad. No. <laughs> Butcher Box gets it. Butcher Box gets it. You can get it too. $20 <laughs> off your first box. Two pounds of free ground beef in your box. People. Customize your meat box. <laughs> get your box full of free beef. Butch. But, butcher box. Butcher Box free beef box. <laughs> <laughs> butcherbox.com <laughs> slash L-O-V-E-T-T butcherbox free beef is your beef box right now butcherbox.com slash love it oh my God. or enter the promo code love it for that free so beef, much beef in your butcherbox beef box end of ad I don't know what we're going to do with that Love It or Leave It is brought to you by Burrow. Burrow is rethinking how people shop for and live with their furniture by making high-quality sofas that are customized online, shipped for free in one week, and set up in minutes. You know, just yesterday. Just yesterday. I was sitting in Neil's office mm-hmm. with Sarah, mm-hmm. and we were sitting on a, on a Burrow sofa, a beautiful burgundy-colored sofa, and I had, I had actually selected this sofa when we first started working with a company called Burrow. And you were and so comfortable you fell asleep. Fell asleep, forgot what the meeting was about, <laughs> um, and we sold the company. Oh, we did? I woke up, it's gone. Cool. Whoa. No, but so we were discussing whether or not we like a high arm or a low arm. You know, you can have a high arm on the side so your arm can rest, or you can have a low arm that's yeah. soft. And it's, it was a debate. We had a debate. And it's here's a the debate. thing. You can choose what kind of sofa you want with Burrow. You can customize every detail. Burrow is designed for comfort exactly 17 inches off the ground because that's the average height from the bottom of a person's foot to the back of their knee. Pick comfy low armrest or stylish high armrest. That's exactly what we were debating. Exactly. You can have what you want. It includes a built-in USB charger, so you never have to get up. That's really helpful when you're traveling with your sofa to the airport. <laughs> <laughs> it's a sofa that grows with you, okay? Grows kinda, with you. Kind of like, hey, hey, Burrow, baby, fuck you, all right? Yeah, I got a pizza. So what? What's the couch judging me, you know? Burrows are easy. Oh, I see what you mean. Like, you can make the couch bigger for more people, not more, not more of you. You can make it bigger at any time. Burrow was recently named one of the best inventions of 2018 by Time Magazine, and you can get $75 off your award-winning Burrow sofa by visiting burrow.com slash love it. That's B-U-R-R-O-W dot com slash L-O-V-E-T-T to get $75 off your order. Thanks again to Burrow for supporting this show. Love it. You need some more uh, award winners in your home? <laughs> you get enough of that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, please. Speaking of which. Okay, I, got, I, got, I, got, I got the couch bragging. I got the person <laughs> sitting on the couch bragging. <laughs> Everywhere I look at my house, if somebody somebody's won an award, that's not me. I want to get, I want to get, go. I want to get. Really a, set them off I'm, now. I may decide my life's goal is to get a Pulitzer Prize for writing op eds. You know, because I feel like that's the only one I got a shot at. I just commit to getting the Pulitzer Prize. I, for think, op-eds. I think you should aim a little bit lower. Fiction. I think you should do for tweets. Ooh. <laughs> because here's the thing: you get a Pulitzer. I would love to get a Pulitzer for writing some dumb op ed, and then be like, "Look, we're the same." <laughs> you worked on that story for two and a half years. That's 800 words. I said Elizabeth Warren's policies are really good, and we both have Pulitzers. <laughs> cool. I summarized the takes of a bunch of people on Twitter. Boom. <laughs> Love It or Leave It is brought to you by On Running. Talk about your own experience with On Running shoes and apparel. Wear them every day. John wears them constantly. I'm on their website right now. Tommy's on their website right now. I'm looking at the the Cloud Swift. The Cloud Swift is an option. The Cloud 5050. The These Cloud 5050. They're very cool looking shoes. They're, they're very comfortable. Cool. They're light. I got a I got a lovely pair of purple ones that I love. Those they're my go tos cool for colors. running. Sometimes John, Tommy, and I end up at the same gym class, wearing the same shoes, doing the same workout on our way to the same office to record the same podcast. Sick of you people. No eye contact, though. No eye contact. <laughs> What's new, we say to each other. Nothing to fucking say. <laughs> Let's talk about the news. 
Let's Born turn on the microphones. <laughs> <laughs> what if I told you the three of us haven't said a word to each other in two and a half years? <laughs> <laughs> that you haven't that heard. you haven't heard. <laughs> <laughs> Born we're, in- <laughs> we're, like, we're like the cast of The View. Yeah. Off, cameras go off. Cameras go off. It's like those, uh, those, like those news hosts that just can't fucking stand each other. Born in Switzerland in 2010 with one goal to revolutionize running. Ons patented technology is the only shoe on the market that gives you a soft landing yet explosive takeoff. What makes On different than all those other running shoes on the market is its emphasis on a clean and minimalist design compared to many bulky, ugly running shoes. It's true. A lot of you look look terrible Mm -hmm. in your running shoes. You look ridiculous. As well as its sole technology, which gives you the sensation of running on clouds. They're unbelievably light. There's a full range of products, not only for performance runners, but also shoes to power the all-day. Co-founded by three-time World Duathlon champion and multiple Ironman winner Olivier Bernard, on is a favorite not only among elite athletes, but celebrities, entrepreneurs, artists, and innovators because of its emphasis on smart and sleek design. It's now the fastest growing running brand. Run on clouds. Go to on. Run on clouds. Run on clouds. clouds. Go to onrunning.com slash love it. That's O-N dash R-U-N-N-I-N-G dot com slash L-O-V-E-T-T to check out on's shoes and apparel. It says here to please emphasize the dash between on and running. So it's on dash running. Dot com slash love it. <laughs> Pod Save America is brought to you by the Cash App. It's the fastest and easiest way to pay people back and get paid back. You bet. Some of us were using the Cash App yesterday to pay uh, to pay my wife back. I just tried to do it, and it turned out that uh, no fault of the Cash App, but I lost my debit card, so I need to get a new debit card so that I can use the Cash App again. You know, I told Emily last night, expect Lovitz to be uh, pulling up the rear here on the, uh, Excuse on the reimbursements. Me. Excuse me. I, I tried to do it. Liter- I'm sorry. All of a sudden, I'm getting texts about some kind of new app I got to download to figure out that I owe Emily a bunch of fucking cash. It's all going to get done. Unbelievable. I was about to pay Emily back this morning, but I lost my wallet, a.k.a. someone stole my wallet, mm-hmm. all right? And I had to cancel all my cards, all right? I'm sorry that I can't pay Emily back. You know who paid Emily back yesterday? Everyone else. I lost my wallet. Yes, I don't wait, have wait. a means to pay. What is she? This morning? This what is morning? she? Wells Fargo? She wants to send me a fucking letter? I tried <laughs> this morning to pay her. I could not do it. If you roll back the tape, he said he lost the wallet this morning. No, oh. I lost the wallet over the weekend. The I'm waiting for apart. my debit card. What are you? The story's falling apart. This is why Elizabeth Warren is right. Don't you have a bunch of cash in your cash app, which you should be having no, if you have a I wonderful- don't have, <gasps> I don't have that kind of cash just sitting in my cash app. What am I? Not Warren Buffett. It's your own private bank. <laughs> That's what's so great about the cash app. You can use it for banking. You can this use it as your outrageous. debit card. Outrageous. You pay people back. Outrageous. You get people back. It's a wonderful app. Tried and- to pay her back this morning the second she texted. Couldn't do it. Will do it the she second I have. Yesterday. She texted she text yesterday. yesterday. She texts all the time. <laughs> what am I supposed to keep up with Emily's text? I'm busy. I got a job. I got to text Emily every three minutes. Yeah, they uh, you got a job. Wallets. Yeah, I love you. Just walked into the office. Uh, it's, <laughs> it's 11 a.m. Uh, just a quick question. Do you actually have the Cash App I on have your phone? The, of course I have the Cash <laughs> App. Look. I'll, mm. what, now, when you downloaded it, what, what code do you put in? You put in the code PODSAVE or the code SPENCER or the code SPENCER is not real. What happens when you do that? You get $5. $5 goes to the Planned Parenthood Action Fund to help protect women's health and everyone's health across the country, which is a great thing. Unlike this ad recording where I've been set upon by a bunch of ghouls. <laughs> so upsetting this morning. Unbelievable. I'm sorry. Not, not this morning. Early afternoon. <laughs> it is, anyway. It is, I have love it or leave it tonight, you sons <laughs> of bitches. I'll be working <laughs> way past when you're sitting on your couches. When you're sitting uh, on your couches laughing I, out loud at a TV show. Oh, I'm sorry. During your afternoon nap? I do not do Let's that get anymore. The nap. You do it every week. <laughs> I, I, I relax. Gotta get the nap in I gotta, before gotta, Love It or Leave It. I gotta unwind. Big nap. Need need two, hour, I don't... two hour nap while the writer's room of you know 10 what? You cranks know what? away I'll be, in, I'll be in Dallas, Houston, and, and fucking Austin next week while you guys are sitting pretty here in Los Angeles. Yeah. Hope you get a new wallet by then. <laughs> I hate it here. I hate it here. I hate what the two of you have become. I hate what fame's done to the two of you. I hate that Elijah's filming this. <laughs> we should probably clean this up a little bit. But anyway, use your uh, discretion. There's a lot of good material. Cash, yeah. A lot of good material in here. Sculpt your body with Andrea Rogers, founder of the worldwide sensation Extend Bar. Or get in crazy good shape with Hunter McIntyre, named by Sports Illustrated as one of the top 50 fittest athletes. These trainers know how to get your results quick. And listen, I don't want to jump to any conclusions, but 50 fittest athletes, even the name, I bet, I bet Hunter's hot. <laughs> I don't know. That seems very superficial. Well, Forget all the listen... Com- <laughs> Let's all admit what this is about. Uh, Getting fit. Okay. (laughs) 
Isn't that what you want? Isn't that who you want on your fitness journey? I want everybody on this fitness journey together, which is, let's face it, about nothing else other than sex with the lights on. <laughs> That's your dream. My God. Open Fit can help you achieve it. <laughs> Use our code Save America. Start using Open Fit for journey to a healthier life. Or I'm, whatever. I'm I'm downloading it today, and I'm going to start on my Open Fit program. I'll let you know how it goes. Don't let me know too much. <laughs> The presenting sponsor of Pod Save America is ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter asked us to talk about the best, worst, most intense, or downright strangest job interview we've ever experienced, either as an employer or employee. Who's got the best story? I was not prepared to do this. No. But you remember when you interviewed me? I do. I do. Um, <laughs> and who can forget? Was, and none of us can forget it. It was at a Starbucks. It was. In D.C., near the Obama transition office downtown. I just remember you being funny. Yeah. Funny enough that I thought it would be worth it taking a risk on you. Yeah, because they, I will say, um, as you can imagine, uh, when you ask people for references for me, you never get an unalloyed yes. <laughs> no. You get a, you know, you can do it, but uh, you take the good with the bad. I was warned by someone who now occupies a perch at the Center for American Progress. Wait, that's too specific. <laughs> uh, that, okay, leave it in. Yeah. <laughs> Good things, you know. Yeah, look, here we are all these years later, and uh, Trump is president, and uh, we talk into microphones, so maybe it was a huge mistake. The New Yorker writes beautifully on subjects that readers may not have previously put much thought into, but end up finding themselves fascinated and delighted by, sometimes reading tens of thousands of words on topics like the world's diminishing supply of sand, and hunting down, what, John? Heirloom beans. Heirloom beans. Those are beans your grandmother passes down to you. Said the word a million times. I've never bothered to even Google what the fuck. Heirloom what is an heirloom? Are. What's an heirloom bean? I never Maybe understand. I to subscribe when to the people New say heirloom kidding, tomatoes, I don't know what an heirloom tomato is. Oh it, yeah. I always just think it's like a misshapen tomato. Heirloom. Like heirloom. Anyway. Other the, topics. The New Yorker's got it covered. <laughs> other topics you never knew you'd find fascinating: paper jams, fault lines, heirloom. Other topic. <laughs> it's that heirloom beans again. Hey yeah, Remnick, we get it. Beans. Ask Rodin about the heirloom beans. <sighs> I'll have to ask his assistant to put it on a schedule to talk to me. Parachute asks, hey, love it. What items are you looking forward to scooping up for 20% off? Here's the thing, Parachute. Honestly, what could I need? Because I am so set up because of Parachute. Let me walk you through my current bed. Talk to me. All right? Sounds great. First. As if you don't know. Feather. <laughs> yeah. First is a layer of podcast hosts. <laughs> No, okay, so I bought the feather top thing to put on top of my mattress. I put uh, a, the per scale, per kale, what do you, what's that word? I don't know. Huh? The non-sateen, non-linen version. I see that word Indica? sometimes. <laughs> indica. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, it's sativa or indica. Sativa. I don't know which kind of sheets I got. Anyway, the point is, then the sheet goes over it. Then I have the parachute duvet inside the same white parachute duvet cover. Then I have the blush-colored quilt and the blush-colored quilt, um, what are those things are called? The ones that are, like, nice. You know, they the cover the pillows. pillows you throw on the ground ones. The, the, the cup, yeah, they're like they're for show pillows, but I love them. And then I have the white sheets over it. My bed, it's like sleeping on a pink cloud, and I fucking love it. That sounds really good. Does parachutes sell pillows? They do. Yeah, they I, do. They I need have, a new pillow. We have parachute pillows. They have great. I, they have great pillows, and so I got I got firm ones and medium ones and soft right. ones or two. I don't know which ones I got, but I got a range of feelings. I'm gonna do that this weekend. Uh, I love my bed. is so great. I took a picture of pundit on it. It honestly looked like it belonged in a fucking catalog. How how personal do you want your experience with the uh, <laughs> yep. New Yorker to be? <laughs> Love it or leave it is brought to you by the New Yorker. Note from Cadence: New Yorker wants you to really personalize your experience with the content. Oh, yeah. do you? Mission accomplished. Spill the tea. <laughs> oh my goodness. Get personal. The New Yorker represents the best writing in America today. Beyond publishing the best writers in the world, the New Yorker holds people in power accountable through rigorous reporting and compelling storytelling. I will give you just one example of how I think the New Yorker is so valuable. Adam Davidson wrote a piece comparing Trump's financial crimes to his experience of covering the Iraq war. I think he wrote it over a year ago at this point. But to me, I think it was such an important piece about the way we think about an unfolding scandal. And I think about it often. Hmm. And there's You're that, Ronan? He thinks your stuff sucks. Yeah. <laughs> well, then there was a time you lost your wallet and the New Yorker paid for the Postmates. <laughs> you know, So that's some value. What are you talking about? I just can't remember what you got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, husband there, little, little BF there. You want to call? Who, what are, no, no, no idea what you're talking about. Huh. I love the New Yorker. The New Yorker <laughs> yeah, holds a very special place Yorker. in my heart. <laughs> Both online and in print, the New Yorker covers a full range of topic, including politics. What are we? At some point, somebody's going to catch that typo, huh? One of their vaunted fact checkers going to catch that typo. 
Yeah, it really represents the best writing in America today, huh? <laughs> Politics, culture, arts, fiction, food, humor, cartoons. The New Yorker writes beautifully on subjects that readers may heirloom not... Heirloom beans. Heirloom beans. <laughs> Uh, the heirloom just beans shout paragraph. Heirloom beans. Other topics you never know you'd find fascinating. Paper jams, fault lines, stink bugs, and what? Heirloom beans. Heirloom beans. Talk about what you enjoyed in New Yorker. I mean... I think you just did. I think they I had did. a long piece on uh, Beto O'Rourke's campaign recently that was, was quite interesting. Yeah, their political stuff is it's always not, excellent. It's not of the moment, right? They, they have a longer lead time where they can really kind of get the zeitgeist of a campaign in a way that the daily stories don't. Which sometimes you just want. You yeah, know? it's better. We are in a broken culture slowly descending into Trigger, a kind you, you of triggered him loose we got the we got the speech drink loose kind of it's about the culture autocracy rooted in ignorance and partisan zeal and in that darkness turn on a little flashlight called the fucking new yorker you know yeah Get 12 weeks for just $6 plus the New Yorker tote bag, home delivery of the print edition, unlimited access to newyorker.com with 10 to 15 exclusive site-only stories every day, access to their apps, online archive, crossword puzzle, and more. Get 12 weeks of the New Yorker for just $6 plus the exclusive tote. You complain all the time about the media and the media. Oh, the media is the problem. Well, you're the problem if you don't subscribe to the fucking New Yorker. <laughs> newyorker.com slash L-O-V-E-T-T. <gasps> if you want the media to be good, pay for good media, you sons of bitches. F- listeners say 50% off. What do you do with bad media? When they enter, <laughs> throw it in the trash. Huh? Throw the bad media in the trash where it belongs. <laughs> newyorker.com slash love it. Hot Save America is brought to you by Away Travel. Away creates thoughtful products designed to change how you see the world. They started with the perfect suitcase. Did they ever? Crafted with features that make travel more seamless, now they offer a range of essentials that solve real travel problems. So all you have to think about is where you're headed next. Because getting away means getting more out of every trip to come. Away knows that everyone has a different travel style. That's why they make their carry-on in an array of colors. I got mine in blush. Two sizes and two materials. A strong yet flexible polycarbonate and an anodized aluminum. Couple of bunch of scientists over there. The carry-on features a lightweight and durable Jory, shell that's Jordy LaForge over there shifting powers to the warp core to make these suitcases. <laughs> that's actually what Wolverine's claws are made out of. <laughs> features a lightweight and durable shell that's made to last for a lifetime of travel. A built-in compression pad helps you pack in more. It does. I last last trip we took, we were gone for a week. It's Adamantium. I, it's and, the clown car of suitcases. You know, so you had fits so much shit in had there. Had to pack the the blazer in there because we were going it's on Colbert. Worst. All this kind of stuff, and it all fit in that carry-on. An optional ejectable battery to keep your phone charged and a removal laundry bag to separate dirty clothes from clean clothes. I Poly- also use that. Carbonate. The bigger carry-on size is sized up to make the most of the overhead bin. Fits in like a glove. <laughs> That's the thing about it. You know, some people, it's not about the size of the carry-on, all right? It's how you fit it into that overhead compartment. You want it to just slide in there and have no, and you don't want to be sitting there. <laughs> stop, just stop, just stop. Pushing it around and everyone's <laughs> waiting for you. They're trying to get by. And yelling. And you're like, no, it's going to go. In. I, I'm, I have it. I got it. What are you laughing at? I'm not sure either. I think he's, I think he heard innuendo there because he's a fucking child. I think about a million people heard the innuendo. What was the innuendo? Don't worry about it. This ad's perfect. <laughs> suitcases are designed to last a lifetime. But if any of your suitcase breaks, a way a standout customer service team will arrange to have it fixed or replaced ASAP. The 100-day trial on Do you everything. sometimes have trouble getting the suitcase into the overhead? Um... You know, it's tough to do your podcast when one of your hosts is just such a fucking bro. Total bro. Are you They're kidding me? just the me? biggest bro. Are you kidding me? Tommy listen, and I are just trying to like talk about how, the news, read some ads, and then we got to fucking- gay my voice is. We've you got fucking uh, frat boy John Lovett over here. Phi Beta, shut the fuck up. I'm just trying to read some Beta, Michael Beta, cap tweets. It. Making fucking fart jokes Beta, like, he's a, like he's a teenage boy. That fart was me jokes. yesterday. Actually. That was Tommy. Listen Not to the it. Love it, listen to the lilt. He dealt it too. Listen to the lilt in my fucking voice. I did not get called gay in high school for four straight years to be called a bro <laughs> on my own podcast. Certainly dressed like a straight guy. The hundred day trial on everything away makes. <laughs> Take it out on the road and live it's with it. Travel with it. I'm dre- this is ca- this get is lost straight with camp. It. Mm. Yeah. Finish the ad. If you decide it's not for you, you can return any non personalized item for a full refund. No ifs, ands, or asterisks. For twenty dollars off a suitcase, visit awaytravel.com slash cricket media and use promo code crooked media during checkout. That's awaytravel.com slash cricket media and use promo code crooked media for twenty dollars off a suitcase. Crooked Media's is brought to you by PRX. A few weeks ago, President Trump tweeted, if Iran wants to fight, that will be the official end of Iran. This season, the podcast Things That Go Boom digs into Iran and the Iran deal. 
uh, and all the controversy around it and why the Trump administration seems bent on getting us into a war. Is John Bolton on the warpath? Do we need yes. to run and build, <laughs> build a fallout shelter in our backyard? Already did. Wow. All right. <laughs> Get off my lawn, things that go boom. Find out the answers to these and other questions like, do the Iranians know something we don't with that Sound of Music bus tour? I have no idea what I that's about. I would like about. to know what that is. Me, same, same. Is U.S. foreign policy like 50 first dates? And Probably what do not. you do the when movie? all of a sudden, it's a good movie. I guess it's like maybe we keep forgetting the same lessons. I that is that's true. The idea. Much that's like Drew thoughtful. Barrymore did in that movie. Yeah. Oh, no, I didn't mean to give it away. <laughs> <laughs> Spoiler alert for the Adam Sandler Drew Barrymore vehicle 51st dates. Anyway. Great soundtrack. This season of Things That Go Boom is a great soundtrack. Uh, that's oh, the worst thing you've ever said on the fucking, show. My Period. basic boys. <laughs> this don't, season, don't put me in with him on that one. That was mean. This season of Things That Go Boom is available now. Listen on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, or wherever you listen. This episode of Pod Save America is brought to you by Parachute. Parachute writes... Hello, friends. We've determined what each of you would be if you were a parachute product. Would you like to hear? Eh, maybe. Ugh. Ugh, love it. You are a classic bathrobe. Easy to love with deep pockets. <laughs> Something chilling tracks. about Tommy <laughs> adding laugh tracks. Something like, 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 uh, like a, a, lay, a, a circle of hell. We did it the other day. Where were you? Oh, yeah, Tommy. We were live streaming. Oh, yeah. Tom, yeah, that's right. During the live stream, Tommy added laugh, tra laugh tracks. Tommy, we couldn't decide between a hand woven rug and a scented candle because you're high quality, but we also think you probably smell nice. <laughs> hmm. That took a turn. Favs, you're definitely sateen bedding. Very smooth. Do you disagree? <laughs> Ugh, I disagree what? with the whole premise. We reject the premise. Well, there you Much go. like uh, most of the candidates should have done with Chuck Todd's <laughs> questions last night, but failed <laughs> to do so because they're rusty. Wow. Or bad at it. Wow. Visit parachutehome.com slash crooked for free shipping and returns on parachutes, premium quality, very comfortable home essentials. That's parachutehome.com slash crooked. Anyone else want to pick another product that they, they think they are? Um, I like my towels. You <laughs> You scented candle. <laughs> scented candle. I'm a, uh, I'm a, I'm a towel. <laughs> <laughs> it works. That's so stupid. Pod Save America is brought to you by Policy Genius. Part of adulthood is having to do things that you don't really want to do, like red eye flights, working late, visiting in laws, and getting life insurance. Sounds like John's Fourth of July. Wh <laughs> I fucking love visiting my in laws. Oh my God. All right. Jesus. <laughs> Okay, good for you. I'm not trying to suck up. I don't need to suck up. They think I'm great. Yeah, no, obviously they just, think you're great. You think they're great. What a what a what a great what a great thing for you guys. I'm saying I, love, I got really lucky that I got great in. I have the same. I want to. Be I clear. could have gotten you know so so in laws. I, I agree. And look, I want to just take this moment to say if there's anyone reading into this that I don't love a certain mother of a certain someone, you're out of your fucking mind. I love her too. The by the way, I also love her. She's the best. Anyway, I do hate red eye flights, which is why I'm not taking one. I'm, I'm flying out tomorrow morning. Pod Save America brought to you by the Cash App. It's brought to you by the Cash App. Fastest and easiest way to pay people back to get paid back. You know it. Um, you, you know it. You know it. <laughs> you know it. <laughs> it's so on. <laughs> you what know it? it. Girlfriend, you are so on. <laughs> Girlfriend. Girlfriend. <laughs> Girlfriend, you are so on. What is that from? It's what, what is that from? Come it's Marion Williamson. Come on, it's my uh, version of what would happen if a scented candle took a beta blocker. Oh my god! Go for you, huh? Go Anyway, if you download the Cash App, five dollars goes to you. Five dollars goes to Moms Demand Action, trying to pass common sense gun control laws all over the country. So you know what are you waiting for? Download it today. You know what book was on Marion Williamson's uh, books that she was currently reading? What? Guess. Guess what book? Guess the fucking book. Guess the book. Guess it. You're Guess the book. Here, here, I can't say okay. the things I want to say. Love it's asking the question, so mm -hmm. it must be self-referential in some way. <laughs> you son of That's a bitch. That's my hint. Uh, <laughs> you... the, the pilot of 1600 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> no, that is yet to be published in the uh, kind of uh, oral anthology I assume will be coming one day. Your um, your math thesis? Nope. Williams? So it's nope. Love it one adjacent. step removed. Something Ronan did? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> what a fucking story. <laughs> I read that book. Great. Good I for you. It. Good. So would Mary, you and Mary Mills would have that in common. <laughs> anyway. anyway, the point is we're switching to the cash app to pay people back. Let's say you're going to buy War on Peace by Ronan Farrow. 
close friend of the show. New Yorker uh, writer. New Yorker writer, Pulitzer Prize winner, which yeah. comes up often, more often than you'd think. If the code is PodSave or Spencer, or Spencer isn't real, you get $5. $5 goes to Moms Demand Action. Then you got a great app on your phone for paying people back, for having your friends pay you back. And when they, someone says, "How do I, I, you got to pay me for this this pizza, you say, go for you. So, um, <laughs> end of it. So remember, workplace life insurance policies are like workplace snacks. Better than nothing, but not quite enough. I mean, do they know what our workplace life insurance policy is? Or our workplace snack policy. Right. It's just a lot of assumptions. I just had a cup full of cashews, a baby bell cheese. I'm satisfied. Are cashews good for you? I ate a lot I of them. don't want to know. You know... We're gonna talk about this. Later. I feel like uh, I feel like almonds. <laughs> well, the almonds the perfect are perfect. The almonds are better. But the almonds that, are the best. That's what peanuts. they want you to. The think. almonds have a almonds great best. brand manager. That's what they want. That's you what to big think. almond is after. Yeah, big almonds in your head. I've looked at the nutrition info for these. Uh, okay. Peanuts next. Okay, recently keto, John. <laughs> yeah, please. Then yeah. yeah. cashew at yeah. the bottom. Knock it on fucking, the ads for two Don't forget, weeks. Atkins died bloated in 350 pounds. I think. Just because you're sick really? of eating the same shawarma parody, every parody. day. Love it. I'm sick of my fucking shawarma with no rice. God no rice, it. please. Just a just a white styrofoam container no. of shawarma with nothing no, 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 else. No. Please just shave the side of that rotating meat that you got somewhere. I want, I want carbs so bad. <laughs> I want some sweet, sweet carbs. <laughs> God damn it. Accidentally, last night, I ate four empanadas. <laughs> <laughs> not one, not two, oh not three. My God. I had four empanadas. I ordered, I ordered a salad with salmon, and then I added four empanadas. I put them in the salad like they were croutons. That is absolutely horrifying. <laughs> what are we talking about? There's this one place that's got uh, these empanadas. Life insurance? Oh, life insurance. I think we're trying to hawk some life insurance yeah, here. Yeah, don't forget, your heart could go at any time. Head to life policy, insurance. Head to policygenius.com today and find out how to supplement your workplace life insurance and better protect your family. Policy genius. <laughs> policy genius. It's like a buffet made of life insurance. Or a buffet empan- with <laughs> empanadas, empanadas, with salmon, with shawarma. And what could be more delicious than that? Carbs. Carbs is the answer. Love it or leave it is brought to you by stamps.com. No one really has time to go to the post office. I don't. You're busy. Very busy. Who's got time for all that traffic, parking, lugging all your mail and packages? It's a real hassle. That's why you need Stamps.com, one of the most popular time-saving tools for small businesses. Stamps.com eliminates trips to the post office, and it saves you money with discounts that you can't get at the post office. John? Yes? What do you think of my performance so far? I think it's... Stamps.com brings all the amazing (laughs) services of the U.S. post office right to your computer. Any notes? I would uh, do less. All right. You know what? I'm internalizing it. Throwing it away. Us. It's conversational. Whether you're a small office sending oh, in. Oh, <laughs> no. An online seller shipping out products or even a warehouse sending thousands of packages I a day. I think you're going to get an IMDb credit for this. Stamps.com can handle it all with ease. <laughs> Stamps.com ad 2019 himself. <laughs> himself, right? But is it me? You know? Raises a lot of questions. It does. It does. Or you you know? just, you're just playing a frustrated person who mails things. Yeah. I mean, it's sort of like, yes, I'm playing myself the way Larry David played himself, but I also am disappearing into this version of me. With Stamps.com, you get five cents off every first class stamp. Up to 40% off. <laughs> Priority mail. Not to mention it's a fraction of the cost of those expensive postage meters. Stamps.com is a no-brainer, saving you time and money. It's no wonder over 700,000 small businesses already use stamps.com right now my listeners they get a special offer john <laughs> this <laughs> is brutal Includes <laughs> a four-week trial plus free postage and a digital scale without any long-term commitment go to stamps.com click on the microphone at the top of the home page type in love it that's all there is to it stamps.com enter love it that's that it. was so weird <laughs> that was very very weird crooked minis is brought to you by sleep number When was the last time you really slept great, John? Last night. Wow. Wow. Slept like a baby. Huh. Huh. Going to improv my way out of this problem in the ad because you're supposed to say, I can't remember. (laughs) And then I say, God, you know, we'll try just about anything to sleep better when it actually could be time for a new mattress. John? That's why I got myself a sleep number. And we recommend it. Sleep Number Stores, it's the biggest sale of the year. All beds are on sale, and queen mattresses start at only $899. My Sleep Number setting is 100. 
because I like a hard mattress with a pillow top. That's what I like because I've got a, a sleep number setting at 100 and then I put the soft parachute pillow top on top of it. It's delightful. Uh, Ronan, my partner's <laughs> my partner setting is... 70. Uh, Mine's a 70. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, guys! Oh, I thought I said is it finally? Partner. Are we finally said, telling the truth? I said business partner. <laughs> oh yeah, is that? I think I don't think of it as business. <laughs> I don't think of it as transactional. But you learn something every day during a, during an ad for Sleep Number. Uh, but we love our Sleep Number beds. <laughs> Wish your mattress could be firmer or softer. Everyone's in it reminded me because I just watched the Shit's Creek episode last night, the Meet the Parents one. <laughs> Is that this season? I'm yeah. behind. I've been saving them because I'm oh, too sad to let them so go. Good. I'm so excited. But uh, every once in a while, I'll go out to dinner with Spencer, and then I'll like he'll say something obnoxious, and I'll like make a joke about it being our our uh, our one year anniversary. And then I feel like this obligation to like explain that it's a joke because we're obviously not dating, but not because it's a joke for two men to date. So I'm like constant. Then I've realized I've gotten myself into a morass where I'm real explaining, pickle. explaining to a, it's a real pickle, whoever that uh, that I'm gay. He's not. We're dear friends. We're not dating, but we could. Point is, get a sleep number bed. Just ask JD Power. Sleep number is right, has been ranked number one in customer satisfaction with mattresses for 2018 award information. Visit jdpower.com. That's very specific. Come in during the biggest sale of the year and for a limited time, save 50% on a Sleep Number 360 limited edition smart bed. You'll only find Sleep Number at one of their 575 Sleep Number stores nationwide. Find the one nearest you at sleepnumber.com slash crooked minis. Look, it's tell worth them it. Tell them crooked sent you. Tell them. Hey, just get it that is worth bed. It. We it's really a great like it. bed. Quick's built-in two-minute timer pulses every 30 seconds. I've timed it. It's exactly 30. Yeah. Yeah, they're not lying. No, they're not. They're not trying sure, to pull it reminds you when to switch sides and help you clean your home out evenly. And it does do that because you're like, you know, you're daydreaming. You're listening to an episode of a podcast from Crooked Media or the Rewatchables to relax to hear about movies, <laughs> you know, just to unwind. And then you're like, wait, I've only been on the left side. But then it goes, and you're like, holy shit. Holy shit. Time it's, to go over here. There it is. Look. I was <laughs> there. Are you making funny because I was making a gesture? You were making a gesture. But it was. All right. I know what it was. Unbelievable. I just. Such a vulgar culture. You can't even just mimic toothbrushing anymore without people's minds going into the gutter. But you won't go into the gutter with Quip. I don't brush my teeth like that. <laughs> I just don't. All right, pal. All right. Plus, there are no wire or clunk. There's no. Plus, there are no wires or clunky charger, and it runs for three months on a single charge. Brush heads are automatically delivered on a dentist recommended schedule every three months for just five dollars. A friendly reminder when it's time for a refresh, and stay committed to your oral health. That's why we love Quip and why it's perfect for getting back into a routine. Quip starts at just twenty. Quip starts at just twenty five dollars, and if you go to getquip.com, that's g e t q u i p dot com slash crooked minis right now, you can get your first refill pack for free. That's your first refill pack free at g e t q u i p dot com slash crooked minis. It's a great product. You will not regret buying it. No, you won't. You just won't. No. Pod Save America is brought to you by the New Yorker. The New Yorker represents the best writing in America today. Beyond publishing the best writers in the world, The New Yorker holds people in power accountable through rigorous reporting and compelling storytelling. Did you just read the uh, long Mike Pompeo profile in The New Yorker? No. Mike Pompeo profile, you say? It's really good. Uh, A former diplomat describes him as a heat-seeking missile for Trump's ass. I was going to say that's... Because he's so obsequious. (laughs) That's that's the one line I saw on Twitter. That is What do I need to read the profile for? That is fucking good. It was a really good piece. Check out the New Yorker. Missile from Trump's ass. <laughs> uh, whoever said that's great. You're great, you're former great. ambassador. Maybe who knows? You could be. Yeah, or, or you're a monster with you're, a good line. Yeah, more likely that. More likely that. <laughs> Both online and in print, the New Yorker covers a full range of topics, including politics, news, international affairs, climate change, and the environment, popular culture, and the arts, fiction, food, humor, and cartoons. The New Yorker writes beautifully on subjects that readers may not have had previously put much thought into but end up finding themselves fascinated and delighted by. Fascinated and delighted by. Sometimes reading tens of thousands of words on topics like these. The dinosaur's last day on Earth. Love for your childhood cult. An indigenous tribe's fight for their home. And the terrifying potential of the 5G network. The New Yorker has fantastic writers, including Evan Osnos, a Pulitzer Prize finalist, has been a New Yorker staff writer since 2008, covering (laughs) politics and foreign affairs. His work includes a profile of... Mark Zuckerberg. And a visit to... North Korea. During the nuclear crisis. See, we know. 
Uh, also, Emily Nussbaum, the television critic for The New Yorker, and in 2016 won the Pulitzer Prize for Criticism. She's very funny. Very funny. Get 12 weeks for just $6, regularly $12, but just for you folks, $6. Plus the New Yorker tote bag. We're thrown in the tote bag. What else do you need? Home delivery of the print edition each week. Oh, that too. Unlimited access to NewYorker.com with 10 to 15 exclusive site-only stories every day. Wow. Access to their apps, online archive, crossword puzzle, Ronan Farrow visits your house <laughs> once a month. Is that, that's part of the deal. Yeah, you get once a month. <laughs> he comes and he just chats about a story he's working on. And if you think he'll eat just anything, you're wrong. <laughs> he, he, he walks up, knocks. Do you have any uh, imitation crab and mayonnaise? <laughs> no? Okay. No. I'll, ta- I'll take some dandelion greens. No? <laughs> Get 12 weeks of The New Yorker for just six bucks. Plus the exclusive tote. Go to newyorker.com slash crooked. Listeners save 50% when they enter crooked. <laughs> this episode of Pod Save America is brought to you by Parachute. Let's talk about the bathroom, guys. Okay. It's arguably the most important room in your home where you take care of yourself Freshen up in the morning, and hopefully floss before bed at night. It's a lot of dancing around some pair of shoes. But... <laughs> yeah, when it, when it said where you take, I thought it was going a different direction. Mm-hmm. So how have your parachute linens upgraded your bathroom experience? Love it. Tell us about your heathered classic and waffle towel collection. What can't I say? I have white waffle towels in um, the uh, guest bathroom, and then I have the uh, heathered towels... That's for drying my body. Mm-hmm. Tommy, are you getting some R and R in that Fauta bathrobe? Fauta, is that an Israeli uh, show on Netflix? Um, Hannah is a huge bathrobe fan, so I think she's probably gotten more mileage out of it. Emily than, too. Emily loves a bathrobe than I do. But yeah, she uh, it, they're hanging up in the, in the bathroom. Look, I think you guys know that we love everything that Parachute makes. Their bedding, their bath linens, the robes. It's all fantastic. Fabs, do you ru- No, I'm not doing that one. <laughs> Visit parachutehome.com slash cricket for free shipping and returns on parachutes premium. I'm sorry. Co- I'm sorry. You're not getting away from this. <laughs> I'm going to read exactly what it says. Verbate it. Fabs, do you wrap up in one of our oversized bath sheets when perfecting your chef's kiss hairstyle in the morning? Do you? That, I've honestly. Ne- I've never had an urge to I wrap myself in a fucking bath sheet hated reading that <laughs> but you want you, I but you went that. back you you backed up the car you know what parachute i'm gonna let you in let you read that let you in behind the scenes something i get to see every day from my desk i would say three or four times a day i look over and i see my friend john favreau uh adjust his hair in the reflection of his ipad <laughs> are you kidding Chilling. are you absolutely you you really want to include this How absolutely do you really want to you. include this <laughs> so funny do you know what the person next to me does to me do you know what he does to make sure he looks okay? How many times he looks at his phone? Are you talking to me? How, no, no. John <laughs> Lovett. I'm just kidding. How many times he has killed pictures Why? because Why? he is not perfect? <laughs> Why is he yelling? A lot of tea. <laughs> Spilling the tea. Okay. Yeah, we can. Oh, we're now, now, that the, uh, now that the box is open, we're just going to go there. One person at this desk did call a magazine to kill a photo. Recently. That's what I was going to say. Yeah, that's. <laughs> yeah. Do it again. You Kills magazine part. photos. Kills all photos. No photo goes without love its approval you have to also photograph End of on the right side End of ad. he also can't of ad. he sits at the table because he can't he cannot he cannot sit in a place <laughs> he cannot sit in a place <laughs> this is innovative it's fine. I, uh, I, have a, I have a microphone for days i don't care <sighs> parachute pod save america is brought to you by indochino every man looks better and feels more confident when he puts on a suit indochino is the world's most exciting made to measure menswear company they make suits and shirts to your exact measurements for an unparalleled fit and comfort looking to get married they have yeah (laughs) maybe (laughs) okay well if you do get married priyanka they'll have tons of options for those looking to outfit their wedding party in suits Cool. On the list of obstacles to you getting married as of That's this moment. That's not <laughs> that high. There, I think there are a lot of things. That are <laughs> Guys love the wide selection of high quality fabrics and colors to choose from, not to mention the option to personalize the details, including your lapel, lining, pockets, buttons, and writing your own monogram. Here's how it works. First, you go on a first date. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me more. Then you see how that goes. And, and if then you, you and plan if there's your a wedding chemistry, on the way back. You know, I would, maybe in your mind... Then, but you slowly create intimacy and vulnerability after over sometimes years. 
Years? Years. I don't have that kind of time. Well, Clock's then you, ticking. <laughs> then you can just visit a stylist at their showroom, over 40 showrooms in North America, and have them take your measurements personally or measure at your home yourself and shop online at Indochino.com. I like the idea of going on a date with someone and being like, what are you doing? It's like, oh, I'm, 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 entering, I'm entering the measurements for your wedding suit. Turn your cool <laughs> idea into a new website, showcase your work, announce an upcoming event or special project. You know what I can do? What can you do? I can make a wedding website for myself after my first date. <laughs> this is so dark. <laughs> Make it yourself. <laughs> Easily create a website by yourself. Just I sound just, like such a freak in these ads. People are going to be like, what just, is wrong with we her? We should create a to- – this is so funny. So you start by uh, – you go on a first date. You get the measurements of your first date person. While they go to the bathroom. While they go to the bathroom, you order them an Indochino suit. You start your wedding website. Mm-hmm. It's pretty exciting. It is. And then they get back and they're like, so should we get another drink? And it's like, N- well, yeah. We For need the rest to go of over our lives. <laughs> You need to go over some things. Yeah, um, I'd love to get another drink. Quick question. Are you a peak lapel guy or a notch lapel guy? What do you mean? Oh, I'm ordering you a suit. For what? Our wedding. Where are you going? So hard to date in this town. <laughs> Parachute writes, Hey, John. How are you enjoying your new Supreme Towel Bundle? Oh, I've been meaning to ask. As yeah. someone that appreciates quality bath linens, we're hoping you can help us resolve a discussion here at Parachute HQ. When traveling, is it weird to bring your own towels with you? Fuck yes. Yeah, Definitely. No, that's insane. And Very I don't, much doing that. I don't think that that was Are an actual debate. Are you hiding a body? I think that that was a prompt for us to have a conversation. I love my parachute towels. I will say this. I was just on the road for a week. I was in New York. It was a, it was a nice hotel. It was a nice hotel. But I miss my parachute bedding and my parachute pillows and my parachute duvet or duvet. Mm-hmm. Do you say duvet or duvet? I duvet. don't really care. <laughs> And I like there's cool. a I like my parachute bed so much that there's a moment like last night where I was like, wait a second, I can just get in my bed and watch a Shit's Creek, and it's like the nicest hotel. Why didn't you just stay with Ronan? <laughs> because and how moving. much did that cost our company? <laughs> <laughs> he was moving. Was, he's moving. Oh, it's a really nice hotel in New York for a week. <laughs> he's moving. <laughs> okay, cool. That makes sense. How's that Maybach you rented? Could you give us the address where he's moving to? <laughs> We didn't know where he was going to be. We're startup. We're scrappy startup. Scrappy. Parachutehome.com slash love it. Visit parachutehome.com slash love it for free shipping returns on Parachute's premium quality, very comfortable home essentials. Parachutehome.com slash love it. I have stayed with Ronan so many times in New York. One time I'm in a hotel because he's moving. Oh, give him an Emmy. (laughs) Give me an Emmy. Parachutehome.com slash love. Crooked Minis is brought to you by Sleep Number. It's the 100th year of the NFL. More than 1,800 NFL players are now sleeping on Sleep Number beds. I did not know that. Because everyone's Sleep Number needs are different, Sleep Number 360 smart beds with Sleep IQ technology sense your movement and automatically adjust firmness, comfort, and support to keep you both sleeping comfortably. Find your sleep number setting for your best possible night's sleep. Sleep number beds allow you to adjust each side to Unless your I'm own in John's bed, then it's 7 8. Ideal firmness, comfort, and support. The sleep number 360 <laughs> smart bed senses your movements and automatically adjusts to keep you sleeping comfortably throughout that night. With Sleep IQ technology. I, like to, I don't like this being my, all the way on my own side. <laughs> inside the bed, it tracks how you are sleeping so you know how every morning how well you slept and you gain insights. We're not an old married couple, it's still fresh. <laughs> Experience the smart, effortless comfort of the Sleep Number 360 smart bed. Find your competitive edge mm. with proven quality sleep from $999. The New Yorker holds people in power accountable through rigorous reporting and compelling storytelling. Blah, blah, Both. Blah. <laughs> Come on. It just, it's, the, it's the New Yorker. It doesn't just represent, but prints the best writing in America today. How about some new ad copy? Hey, Remnick, put Evan Osnos on the ad copy. Yeah. Hey, hey, David Remnick, can I get Doreen St. Felix eyes on this? Can we get Ronan to edit this at least? I know. That's, no, let's not go crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Catch and kill this ad copy, yeah, you know? Yeah, pencil out. Let's see if we can get some time on his calendar and, you know, spring. <laughs> I hope I can get some time with him soon. I'll have to check in with his team. <laughs> the New Yorker old people and power cover that. Both online and in print, the New Yorker covers a full range of topics, including politics, news, international affairs, climate change, and the environment, popular culture, the arts, fiction, food, humor, and cartoons. The New Yorker writes beautifully on subjects that readers may not have previously put much thought into, but end up feeling fascinated and delighted by. Sometimes reading tens of thousands of words on topics like... Let me guess. Go guess. The dinosaur's last day on Earth. Yep. 
Uh, love, love for your childhood cult. Nailed it. Uh, the terrifying potential of the five G network. Yes. And wow, this last one I don't know. You'll get it. Something about an indigenous tribe. You got it. An indigenous tribes fight for their home. Yes. Evan Osnos, a Pulitzer Prize winner. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> the little victories here. Yeah, sure. I mean, Evan Osnos knows is a Pulitzer Prize winning finalist, has been a New Yorker staff writer since 2008, covering politics and foreign affairs. His work includes a profile of Mark Zuckerberg and a visit to North Korea during the nuclear crisis. One hates democracy, the other is North Korea. <laughs> Poor Evan Osnos has written plenty since those two. <laughs> you think? Emily Nussbaum is the television critic for The New Yorker and in 2016 won the Pulitzer Prize for criticism. Find their work in The New Yorker. Get 12 weeks for just $6, regularly $12, plus The New Yorker tote bag, home delivery of the print edition each week. And unlimited access, I said edition, but it's fine, to newyorker.com with 10 to 15 exclusive site-only stories every day. 12 weeks of The New Yorker for just $6 plus the exclusive tote. Get that tote bag. This is brought to you by Dollar Shave. You guys, you've heard me talk about the amazing shave I get from my Dollar Shave Club razor, especially when I use it with their Dr. Carver's Shave Butter. (laughs) I love I Love Love that shave shave butter. No, the I'm Please, listen. I mean, Dollar Shave Club and the Shave Butter. Toast? <laughs> <laughs> I'm here to tell you guys. I'm John, ne- you're not I'm, supposed to eat it, you stupid <laughs> moron. I'm never giving up my membership. In fact, I'm adding even more Dollar Shave Club products to my daily routine. What? They make products for your hair, your face, your skin, and your shower, else? your toast, everything you need. Where else? They have me looking and feeling amazing. Would you say that you're a real one wipe, Charlie? <laughs> it's, all, Tommy? Oh. it's all their own original stuff. They only use the finest premium ingredients. They deliver to you just like they do their razors. That means no more annoying trips to the store, cruising up and down aisles, looking at shelf upon shelf. What the hell is that? And what Nobody do I do go it? to the store anymore. <laughs> We're just doing it all from home. I do hate when the, the, when the razors are like under lock. And it's the home. worst. It's so yeah. silly. That's why we use Dollar Shave Club it's for just about everything. Vault. They got me covered head to toe and with gift memberships and e-gift cards available. DSC can help cover the names on your holiday shopping list DSC too. DSC for short, guys. I'm reminded of the Chambord Vault. Guys, I want you to love Dollar Shave Club as much as I do. So I've arranged for you to try your first month of their best razor along with travel size versions of shave butter, body cleanser, and yes, even butt wipes for just $5. They're, uh, they're, what kind of butt wipes, John? After that. John, what kind of butt wipes? They're one wipe Charlie's, One John. wipe, love it. After no. that, replacement cartridges ship for one just a few Tommy. bucks a month. It's a DSC starter set. Get yours for just 5 bucks exclusively at dollarshaveclub.com slash crooked combos. But do they have aluminum in them? No. Well, let's find out. Let's not jump to conclusions. Okay. Native products are formulated without aluminum. Yes. <laughs> Parabens Call, and talc. It. No talc. Fuck off, talc. Yeah, Go back of, to being a rock. Get out of here. Go back to being a dumb, soft rock. You two parabens. Yeah, whatever you are, parabens. I think you may come from beehives or candles. I'm not sure. Parabens. I don't know what it is, but it doesn't sound good. I don't want it in my pits. <laughs> <laughs> Only the best. Native is filled with ingredients found in nature, such as coconut oil, check, shea butter, check. and tapioca starch. Check. With Native making the switch to an aluminum-free deodorant does not mean having to sacrifice on product performance. Native comes in a wide variety of enticing scents for men and women. Plus, they release new limited edition seasonal scents throughout the year. You, your, your armpits can smell like a candy cane. Yeah. Rudy Giuliani smelled differently on his way to Ukraine as he did on his way back. That's how often they're upgrading the flavors. I guess you don't call them flavors. The flavors? <laughs> we're, selling, we're selling flavored deodorant. Classic deodorant podcast, scents include man. coconut and vanilla. That's the most popular. Lavender rose. Cucumber and mint, and eucalyptus and mint. Personal experience required. I'm slathered in the stuff. I s- <laughs> smell like a Christmas tree. <laughs> I smell like a Christmas tree that's ready to fuck. <laughs> okay. That, hey, hey. Joke. that would be prickly. <laughs> Depends on what kind. <laughs> For 20% off your first purchase, visit nativedeodorant.com. I cannot look at anyone in the room. <laughs> and use promo code love it during checkout. That's twenty percent off your first purchase. Visit nativedeodorant.com and use the promo code love it during checkout. I would go for a Fraser fur. Someday people are just going to cut outtakes of our ads, and you're just going to hear, "I'm a Christmas tree ready to fuck." Yeah. Well, probably just won't play it on loop. Hopefully, it won't stop me from being mayor. You know, of South Bend, Indiana, <laughs> where I'm going next. It's on the path now. 